In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to edit your images in bulk. It's always best to resize images individually, but if you have a lot of images to get through, it's much easier to automate the process. There's some great image compression software available, which will let you batch resize your photos ready for the web. I took some time to test these out, so here are my top free tools for optimizing your images. If you're a Mac owner, you'll want to get your hands on iResize, which is, in my opinion, the easiest app to use on the Mac. The first thing you want to do is to drag in your images using the drag and drop interface, or you can use this drop down menu here to add a single image or a folder of images. The great thing about iris size is you have all your images listed on the left hand panel and in the central panel you have a preview of each image. The images I have here are quite a selection. I've got one which is a megabyte in size, which is really big for web, so we need to get that down. And I have a print image, which is 300 DPI and CYMK. Not only will iris size resize your images, it'll also convert them to web mode. So that means any print images or images that you have straight from your camera will be resized ready for the web. Once you've imported your images, the first thing you'll need to do is to set maximum width or height. This will help reduce the file size of the image and it will do it across the board so all your images will be the same width or the same height depending on which you select. Now you'll want to make sure that this is selected. Any images that are smaller than 500 pics will not be enlarged. Iris size uses JPEGs for its compression, so there's no PNG or GIF option, so you'll have to use another piece of software or a free online tool for that. At the moment it's set at 70%, so we can do a quick JPEG compression test to see how that's going to look. At the moment it's a little bit pixelated, so I'm just going to increase that size to about 80%, and it'll also tell me how big it's going to be. So at the minute it's 11 kilobytes, which is fine. You can automatically change the file name of all of the images using these options here. Automatically rename them. You can restore the images back to their original names as well. Second option for renaming your images is when they're saved out, you can add an extension onto the image names. So, for instance, we want this to be 500 pixels wide and 80% quality. So if we select this option, all our images will be renamed when they've been resized. So now all we need to do is to resize all the images. Select the folder you want to output the images to. and you're done. The next piece of software I'm going to show you is Shrinkomatic, which runs on both a PC and a Mac. It's an Adobe Bear app, so you'll need to download and install that before you can use it. It's a little bit slicker than Iris Sizer and definitely nicer on the eyes, but the downside of it is you can't preview your images. So if you want to find out what the quality of the image is going to be like, you're best off exporting one image as a test. So the settings work in a similar way. You have your max width and height, and you can also use a ratio, which is a percentage of the original image. You can auto rename it or leave it as the same as the original. You need to specify an output folder, so you can go and browse and select one. And the final settings are the output format. You can keep it the same as the original, or you can change to a JPEG, GIF or PNG, which is a handy thing that Iris Size doesn't have. So we're going to leave it as a JPEG and set the quality at about 80% as well. 
Now all that remains to be done is to drop in your images. So you can browse them here, or you can drag and drop them. So let's do that. Hopefully these tools make things easier for you. There are other options for the PC, so you can read about them in the blog post.